how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing fine. I am fine too, I thank God. Welcome back to my channel. If you know that you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for returning back here. Thank you for your love and your support. May God bless you. But if it is your first time here on my channel, hello, welcome to my channel. Please, before you leave, Remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell You will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever I upload a new video And I promise you you will always enjoy every content that I upload on this channel So dear friends if you have been following me here on my channel at African Bella the real talk you know that I have been sharing with you videos about tips and tricks to use while you are on online dating apps or sites searching for the one. I've been sharing with you videos on how we met just like this one of today. I am going to be telling you about it in a minute. But also sometimes I come here and talk to you as a sister, a sister that loves you very, very much. And you can remember this phrase, do not give up because that time when you are about to give up, it might be your God's time. It might be that same, same day you find that white guy that you have been searching for, for four years, for five years, six years. Some of you have been on online dating sites or apps for eight years, for really, really long time. But it doesn't mean you staying on online dating sites or apps for so long, then you will never ever find the one. Because if you've been there for all that time and you haven't found anyone, why should you believe that you will find the one? <laughs> No, guys, it's not like that. And most of you that have come to me, Bella, I need your guidance. And I tell you, be my baby. I always tell you the truth that I cannot tell you, yes, I'm here to guide you, but I cannot guarantee you that after a month, after three months, after six months, you will find the one. No, I'm not God. <laughs> so we just need to keep on praying, believing that. The right guy will come yes so you too who has been online dating sites apps for so long keep believing in god keep praying that right guy will come even if you are at a point of giving up and through today's video which is going to be a story time of a nigerian lady by the name of Ada Lee, but I am going to cut her name short and call her Ada. Ada found love on online dating site after two years of searching for that right man. And through her love story, guys, you're going to get a vivid example of what I have been telling you not to give up, okay? <laughs> so Ada found love on online dating site with an American guy. And attention, not a white American guy, no, a black American guy mixed. Another thing that really caught my attention is when she mentioned the name of the dating site where she found the one. Because I've been chatting or interacting with lots of Nigerian ladies and you guys made me believe that in Nigeria, <laughs> only one dating site works there others don't work at all at all unless you use vpn which is not true <laughs> i came to realize the truth yeah because this dating site where ada found the one is the dating site that i even recommended in my videos when i shared dating apps and dating sites to try out so that you can find the one. So here I talk to you all, especially my black African women who are in Africa. I have been getting your messages, Bella, you know, this dating site does not work. This does not work. This does not work. Every dating site that I recommend, it does not work in my country. Works only two dating sites. Please, please, if you want to find love on online dating sites or apps, 
you need to stop complaining take actions yes the good thing there is google go on google and search for online dating sites or apps that works for example in uganda that works for example in ghana that works in nigeria tap your ears from what others are saying give it a try as long as you're not going to be paying on that dating app it means you're not losing your money only your time you're investing your time there but give it a try and keep trying also i remember there is a zambian lady her name is zenzo most of you know zenzo she is a zambian lady who found love on meet me with a german guy so when she was sharing her part two you know her happily ever after she advised you guys that you don't need to wait for bella to share with you online dating sites or apps to try go on google the same same thing that i have said because i never recommended meet me to zenzo no she went on google and searched for meet me it came up she joined and found the one yes so use that same same strategy keep trying try everything guys okay so guys i know some of you who are into white guys you want that interracial relationship after hearing me saying she found love with an american guy a black american guy a mixed guy <laughs> you're like nah this is not a kind of video i want to watch <laughs> but please do not click off if you are on online dating apps sites searching for love this video is going to be very helpful to you you are going to learn something new <laughs> and you know <laughs> every love story that i share here on my channel we have something new to learn from it because every love story is different guys so dear friends before i tell you grab a glass of water a glass of juice a glass of wine <laughs> some popcorn sit down to enjoy this love story i would like to tell you how i came to know adam adam wrote to me on instagram for that first time it was in july 2022 and right now as i'm making this video it is may 2024 so you can see how long we have known each other <laughs> yeah so she kept on coming for some guidance on online dating apps and dating sites till last week when she came with good news and i was so happy you know <laughs> yeah i always wish you well you know i want you guys to find happiness <laughs> to find that right guy that you are searching for so guys i think i've talked enough now surprise <laughs> i am welcoming ada ada will be here to share with you her love story welcome dear ada <laughs> hey guys good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you're watching me from um first of all i want to say thanks to bella for having me here today um before i dive right into today's video let me introduce myself to you all my name is adalili oliver i am from nigeria so i'm actually here to tell you guys about my dating experience um make sure you watch this video till the end because you all are going to learn a few things from my experience okay i'm at work and uh, you guys might hear um noise in the background i apologize for that okay um so the first thing i'm going to be talking about is my past relationship experience okay so before dating sites i had two heartbreaks from two guys nigerian guys mind you i am not generalizing all nigerian men to be bad maybe i met the wrong dudes who knows <laughs> i used about four apps i think i used bado afro introduction tinder and international cupid which is where i met the love of my life okay so and i did not pay to be on this dating site mm -mm. i was chatting on a free mode okay the challenges i faced during my dating journey was horrible oh my god guys hey i met um I met on serious and time wasters on dating sites. 
that never made me stop searching for love okay i met people that were that were requesting for sex chats and nude pictures okay i just ignore them because i mean this is not what i'm looking for i'm on this site to look for something serious i overcame them by ignoring them and not even giving them a listening ear okay so this is how i overcame them just ignore them and don't even listen to them and keep searching don't let them make you stop looking for love because on that site you're going to meet a lot of time wasters a lot of red flags a lot of scammers okay so just ignore them and keep searching that was what i did with this every woman that has reached me on instagram to complain that her online dating search is very very hard she's not finding anyone i always tell you that is how online dating world can be now we hear from ada she tells you faced lots of challenges yes very few very few lucky ones that don't come across any challenge or online dating apps or sites within two days three days they have found the one but majority majority of the ladies that have found love on online dating apps or sites they have gone through all challenges that you are going through right now so challenges shouldn't make you give up i repeat the first time i communicated with my fiance was um in august 2023 okay that was last year and i actually sent the message first okay yeah of course do not sit there and wait for them to send you message don't make sure you make the first move nobody's going to kill you for making the first move i made the first move and look at me today i have a ring okay so make the first move how did i know that my man was the one? Oh my god so after chatting on the site i requested for his whatsapp number so we can transfer to whatsapp okay so we can make a video call let me be sure if this person i'm even chatting with is real do you get so we made a video call we spoke for like two plus hours i mean we're laughing we're talking like we've met for a very long time two days after chatting on whatsapp he deleted his profile i did not delete mine immediately okay he deleted his profile and um few weeks after talking he introduced me to his mom he introduced me to his brothers he introduced me to his aunt he introduced me to his friends he also introduced me to his colleagues at work the guys that i've been talking to on dating sites never introduced me to a friend talk more of introducing me to their mom so i already knew this man was mine because the way we spoke on the phone we clicked immediately like we've known for a very long time you know so yeah that was how i knew that this man was mine okay he introduced me to his family first so few weeks into the relationship i introduced him to my family so that was how we introduced ourselves to our families he made me feel so special he always introduced me to his friends as his fiance not even girlfriend fiance fiance is a huge word guys and in my mind i'm like is this guy not so fast what's the rush for you know that kind of thing like he got me thinking you know but i didn't know that god was actually doing this for me i didn't know that it was all god's work because i felt like it was too soon you know and guys few days talking on the app he started sending me money i never asked him for money i never asked so please if you're on a dating site please do not ask for money because that's a huge turn off you are trying to gain your trust right so just calm down and let these men do their thing any man that loves you would definitely send you money he would know that you need money 
okay so please do not even ask for money so guys normally i get questions like bella how will i know the guy is the one and my answer here is the first sign that will tell you the guy is the one is how you will feel inside you're going to feel that peacefulness that you can't even explain and another sign you will see things happening without you putting lots of efforts between you you will see things moving really smoothly and that guy will do things without even you asking <laughs> he will take things into the next step without you telling him i want you to do this i want you to do that no he will just do them like on monday there is a story i shared on my instagram of my own baby that i have been guiding and eventually she has found the one so you know when i'm guiding my ladies of course they have to update me on every step so she updated me that the guy that they have been you know talking building their relationship just decided to send her money for the weekend to go do her hair and her nails we without being asked and sometimes my babies share with me the voice notes that the guys they're chatting with for me to listen and in most cases guys you find you listen to a voice note you that is listening to it that is not even the girlfriend to that guy you feel at peace you know <laughs> Yes, guys, that's when you know he is the one. But these guys that are not the one, <laughs> they'll put you on pressure. All the time you'll be worried. All the time you will want, you know, to ask questions, you know, seeking for response that he is not even giving you. When you find yourself in that situation, the guy is not the one. <laughs> one time I listened to a guy's voice note. <laughs> sent to a lady that I was guiding and I was like what this guy is toxic this guy is very arrogant <laughs> he's not even respectful you know so we knew what to do after that because the guy wasn't the one and don't ever send nude pictures because they might use it against you in the future the people you're sending your nude picture do you even know them from anywhere you met them online. How sure are you if they're not into sex business and all of that? So please do not send your nude pictures and do not ask for money. Okay? Um, <laughs> if I shared my goodies to my fiance, uh, he came to Nigeria on the 16th of March. Also, I know you're asking yourself lots of questions how it went when he landed. She was super happy, very, very excited. <laughs> And being in Nigeria, oh my god, they're enjoying time together. Hey, babe, this is for you. This is how are you? Thank you. Okay, so. <laughs> Welcome to Nigeria. <laughs> Nigeria will give you all the goodies. Nigeria is gonna bless you. you know? You're welcome. Your your mission to in Nigeria, your mission to Nigeria in Nigeria. Which one? A very fruitful one, you know. Amen. You're gonna get every bit of the stay in Nigeria. You're welcome. Yes, sir. So. Amen. Thank you. Wow.
he has seen her family i'm going to be showing you another short video clip of when her online boyfriend went to see her family you know everyone was happy for them and you know sometimes when i see videos like these that's when I don't know the reality hits me that online dating is real on online dating sites or apps it is possible to meet a very good man a man that will stay with you forever till when god decides it is totally totally possible so enjoy guys Mama. <laughs> I'm out fine now. What are you cooking? I'm done cooking. Yeah. I push your sabos food now. Are you not hungry yet? You're hungry, right? So, what? Which one do you want to eat first? Swallow or rice? Rice. Okay, rice. <laughs> I did not give him my goodies. I gave him my goodies on the twentieth of March. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> Yeah, advice to you all is please do not stop searching for love. Your man is out there. Okay, don't stop searching for love. Love is there waiting for you. I met a lot of people that don't, that doesn't want to talk to African women. When I chat some people and they ask me where I'm chatting from or when they read my profile, they will just some of them would not even um reply me some of them would just block me for no good reason some of them would tell me that you're from africa i'm not interested before you know it they block me but that never made me stop he said that changed me more to keep looking for love to keep searching for love online you would meet a lot of people that would tell you to send them sex um, nude pictures or sex chats. Don't let that break you. Down. Don't let that make you stop searching for love. Did you know the time when, when I gave up searching for love on, online? That was when I met my man. I think I did not tell you guys the story. Let me tell you guys the story. Okay, so I have sent out messages to five men one faithful night. And then I said to myself, you know what? If none of them replies my chat reasonably, if I did not get a responsible response back from these people that I just sent out messages to the next morning, I'm just going to delete the site. Thankfully, the next morning I woke up after saying my prayers, I went to my phone, I checked my mail. I got messages from two men I opened the first one the person said yes he's on this site to look for something serious but he's not interested in african lady and i said okay thanks bye and then i checked my my boyfriend's message he said yes he's interested in a serious relationship can we get to know ourselves better <laughs> remember remember i said i was ready to delete the site i already gave up what if I deleted the site that night? What if I did not wait until the next morning? Would I have met my man? No. Always pray. Prayers really helps. Always pray and do your things. Or do your things on a low. Do not let people know about your weakness. Do not let people know about what you're doing. Always be private. When I started dating my man, Nobody knew except for my mom and my siblings. Nobody knew. I did not tell anybody aside from my family. I did not post him on any of my platforms. Even though people kept on asking me on my YouTube channel if I'm into a long distance relationship. I always ignore that message. 
always pray and please never give up don't give up on love the time you try to give up might be the time your man would reach out to you please learn from my story i almost gave up when i almost gave up was the time i met my fiance when i registered on international cupid i was actually on that site to meet a white man i was on that site to date like i just wanted to date a white man i just ignored anyone if you're a black person i'm not chatting with you but if you're a white man that's what i wanted but all the white men i had encountered with were all time wasters i did not know that god was actually preparing me for a mixed american man you know so most times we just keep looking in the wrong direction make sure you give other race a chance for love white man might not be your destiny not all white men are ready to put down with most african ladies okay i was actually on that side to look for a white man and god said my daughter mm -mm, white man is not for you i met italian man that doesn't even know how to speak english i had to download um a translator translator that i have never downloaded on my phone before i did that because of love so dear beautiful ladies i have something to add on what ada said and this is about your original plan we talked about this but today guys i want you to question your original plan because everyone that goes into online dating has an original plan you join online dating for example i told you at some point i joined online dating sites and i remember telling you guys that when i joined online dating sites online dating apps at that time my original plan was to find true love but my second plan was to find a guy that is not tanzanian because i was done done with tanzanian guys and maybe if you are Tanzanian, you are married to a Tanzanian guy, or you are a Tanzanian guy watching this, you will be like, but Bella, not all Tanzanian guys are bad. It is true. Not all Tanzanian guys are bad. I've got brothers, very, very good brothers. They are good husbands <laughs> to my sister-in-laws. I am so proud of my brothers. And yes, I believed not all Tanzanian guys are bad. That's why I kept on trying and trying. This relationship fails. I be like, okay, let's start all over again. I give a try again, believing there is that good Tanzanian guy. But in the end, guys, I failed. I failed completely. <laughs> and I admit that I couldn't find any good Tanzanian guy that wanted to settle down with me. And maybe I can say like how Ada said, maybe I came across bad Tanzanian guys. But guys, it's not that I tried it once and I was like, no, I don't want to hear anything with Tanzanian guys. I repeat, guys, I tried. I tried. <laughs> So there was no way I was going to give a chance to any Tanzanian guy on online dating apps or sites at that time. I was done, 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 done. Nothing was going to change my mind. So guys, with Tanzanian guys, I had had my own share <laughs> and that was enough. But I was open to guys from any country <laughs> in this world any color so whether you are from uganda kenya nigeria ghana <laughs> i was going to date you or oh, a white guy i was going to give you a chance important you give me that true love that i was searching for so today i am here to tell you or to advise you question your original plan if it is the right one if you are going into the right direction why am i saying this because i know exist black african women who have dated black guys in their countries 
<laughs> not even you know maybe in another country a neighboring country no in their country maximum three guys things did not work out but it's not that they were into a toxic relationship it's not that they have seen that bad 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 side that dark side <laughs> of dating a toxic guy of dating a manipulator of dating a guy that will cheat on you countless times you know no they haven't come across that but maybe they go into social media you know how interracial dating is <laughs> when you go on instagram on facebook people showcasing you know luxurious life and all that <laughs> You come here on Bella, you see so many interracial couples and you start getting obsessed to be like, no, me with black guys? No, 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 no. I'm going to concentrate only on white guys. <laughs> Yeah, and you'll be like, this is my original plan. So when a good black guy writes to you, no, I'm not going to give him a chance. <laughs> I don't care where he lives. As long as he is black, for me, it's a big, big no. <laughs> Girl, I doubt that original plan that you have is a wrong one. Yes. <laughs> so from Ada's story, you can see even Ada, when she wrote to me for that first time <laughs> on Instagram was like, I want a white guy. <laughs> yeah, she wanted a white guy, but listening to her even of how she talked about her past love relationship experience, it's not that she had seen it all with black guys. No. <laughs> but her head was, I want a white guy, I want a white guy, I want a white guy. But we see later on, had to open her eyes, had to listen to God, to be open-minded <laughs> and talk to black guys too. And now we can see she is happily engaged. <laughs> yeah. But guys, I am still on your original plan to question your original plan. If it is the right one, if you are going in the right direction or you are going into a wrong direction. So, on the other side exist black African women that have seen it all. When I say they have seen it all, they have seen it all with black men. And it's not that they tried only one time or two times, no. <laughs> it's just like Bella. They tried and tried and tried, even got married. You find someone got married two times, three times, but still ended up with a broken heart. So you talk to that kind of a lady and she tells you, Bella, me with black men, I am done, 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 done. I no longer feel anything for a black guy. So you cannot force such kind of a lady to date a black guy or to go into online dating and give a chance to black guys. No, because even that attraction is no longer there. For a lady like that, I will tell her, stick to your original plan because I want you to find happiness. And I told you, if it makes you happy, go for it. But I also know that exist black African women that are into white guys. Not because they've been into toxic relationships with black guys. No. They have dated black guys and it went bad. No. It's not like that. They only want to date white guys. They want those mixed kids, you know, and it drives them crazy. They want that white guy so bad you can't tell them anything that will change their mind on dating or getting married to a white guy if you're here watching this video i support you go for what you want i can't tell you go date this kind of a person whereby you don't feel the vibe <laughs> I remember I shared a story here of Maria. If you guys watched her love story, Maria, the Colombian lady who was dating an Italian guy and it went so bad. Guys, Maria wanted to date or to get married to an Italian guy so bad. <laughs> There is nothing that was going to change Maria from marrying an Italian guy. Even after that story going bad, Maria kept on being like, I want to get married to an Italian guy. 
I want one day to live in Italy. Maria currently resides in America, but was like, no, for me, it is an Italian guy, an Italian guy, an Italian guy. And guess what? Because it is what she wanted. She followed all the rules, all the steps <laughs> that are needed to be followed when you are dating a guy, you know, shine your eyes, watch the red flags, and eventually, God is good, Maria found an Italian guy, a very cute <laughs> Italian guy who also lives in America and they're getting married this December, guys, in California, Los Angeles. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, I think you saw her invite, inviting my family to the wedding. She got what she wanted. So guys, I think right now you know if you are on the right direction or the wrong direction, ask yourself, I am on online dating sites, dating apps, searching for a white guy. Why? Why am I searching for a white guy? <laughs> then you will have the answers and those answers will tell you whether you should keep on sticking to search for a white guy or you should just be open to true love because exist good when i say good i mean good 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 black guys on online dating sites right now as i'm talking to you i have 10 success stories of black guys with black women that found each other on online dating apps and sites. And some of these guys are my clients, yes. <laughs> Meaning I've been talking to them maybe three times a week, you know, giving them guidance. And that's why I'm telling you good, good black men, humble, human, they know God, you know, very religious. I don't know what to say. <laughs> and cute at the same time. But attention guys, among these 10 success stories of black guys. I wish that my prayer for you in 2024 is that um, the God will continue to use you, your channel for people to find true love. And whilst they're searching for true love, may they also find God, you know, um, Jesus because True love comes from God. God is love. You know, the greatest commandments or all the commandments can be summed up um, in love. So, as they search for love this year in 2024, may they also find God. And they, God will lead them to true love. You know, and I just want to say... May God bless you and your family and may your channel grow in 2024. You know, God is love. Thank you again for your help and many, many blessings in the future for you, Bella. Thank you. Seven are from the Caribbeans and three are African. But not Africans that grew up in Africa, no. These Africans grew up in Europe, others grew up in America, and I know one in uh, grew up in Canada, Yav. And on the other side, if you find yourself, you are in the right direction, you have very, very strong reasons to why you want to date a white guy, you know I've given you the guidance. If you want to get married to a white guy, what are the things you should look into so that you don't find yourself in the same, same situation, you know, that you were in. Even the worst, Judith's love story is a vivid example. We saw how the ex-husband treated her. We saw how he behaved. Something that pushed Judith to look for a white guy. We saw for the first time she fell into the hands of a scammer, whom we don't know whether he was white or black but he claimed to be white because the truth is exist white guys that are scammers <laughs> it's not that these people are saints no guys so after this scammer she fell into the hands of a devil a devil man that was a white guy from albania um so if you are in the right direction you want to focus on white guys only 
because of your own reasons that you think they are really really perfect then please please i don't want you to go with your eyes closed and then later on we get a story like the one for judith no 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 so with this case closed let's move on with her love story i chatted with a danish man he's from denmark this man i saw a lot of red flags but i kept on ignoring all because i was looking for love all these things matters please make sure you always point out the red flags make sure you do not set to for something you know that you're not comfortable with do not manage if you see that you cannot deal with this don't say you can manage it don't say it's going to adjust no if you know that you do not want that please stop dating them stop talking to them okay so guys i want to talk about that danish guy that ada <laughs> talked about because i remember ada coming to me for some guidance and when she shared this love story i was like ada why didn't you talk about it into details maybe other ladies will get to learn from your experience these things are very very important that is why i always bring them here for you to relate when you come across a situation like that. So Ada came to me for the guidance about this Danish guy and was like, Sis Bella, this guy wants to come to Nigeria to meet my parents, blah, 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 blah. He's the one that wants to visit first. And later on, I will go visit him in his country. My advice to Ada was Ada to go visit the guy into his country, get to see his life and when she is convinced the guy is the one then can take him to her parents <laughs> okay to know if this guy is really single is not married and all that was like but bella the guy wants to come <laughs> to nigeria so what i told her is to keep on observing this guy to make sure that everything that he tells her it's true they are like that like do the video calls i told her to shine her eyes to stay with her eyes wide open and was like bella my eyes are wide open oh <laughs> though for me i sensed they were closed so that was july 2022 so their relationship continued and then ada returned to me in august so when she came to me in august 2022 came with another story that this danish guy gave to her <laughs> was like apparently the danish guy was at the casino playing poker and when he was going out there was a guy who was trying to harass him he tried to ignore the guy but the guy kept on harassing him until he mentioned his daughter this guy had a daughter so after hearing a guy mentioning his daughter he got really upset and punched the guy so when he punched the guy the guy went and pressed the charges on him <laughs> the guy got arrested this guy called ada and explained everything like i am telling you right now and ada was like for me bella i think he is telling the truth so he told her that he is not going to be with his phone for three weeks but he left his phone with one of the employee so that employee will be making calls you know talking to clients because that guy was a boss he owned the company so the phone remained with the employee and if i'm not mistaken i think this employee at some point chatted with ada because ada was trying to reach out to know how everything is going so when ada was told to wait for three weeks she waited for those three weeks when those three weeks were over ada expected the guy to come back and start talking to her so that they can continue with their relationship but the guy did not come back even after those three weeks it was quiet 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 to an extent ada really got worried 
and didn't have anyone to talk to had to come to me to ask for an advice bella what can i do three weeks are over now but i'm not hearing from this guy remember ada had said she feels maybe the guy is telling the truth okay <laughs> so she was kind of believing what the guy was telling her and remember guys it's not me that was in, in contact with that danish guy <laughs> so what i had to tell ada is to give him just another one week but deep inside me i knew something was off because i've heard of these stories guys i've got enough experience and i'm going to be telling you a little bit of a story that will shock you all of how these online dating guys can really create up stories but i wanted ada to go so deep into that so that even if things ends they end in peace you know she has that peace of mind that i tried my best but it couldn't work out then just disappear on a guy that she kind of believed will keep on being like mm, what if i stayed what if i kept on waiting what if bella was wrong you know yeah so that is why i told her give him another one week it will make up to one month after that one month you're not hearing anything from his side my dear sister move on because you can't just stay there and wait on someone that you don't know when they are going to come back she was like bella okay no problem thank you so much remember guys it was in august 2022 then october ada returned to me and was like bella no i stopped you know with the danish guy and i was so happy because i was seeing lots of red flags in that guy so why i told you these online dating guys can create up stories <laughs> one time comes this beautiful lady i won't mention her country because you know she's my client i have to protect her so she comes to me and tells me, oh, Bella, I'm dating this guy. We have been talking for two good years, but whenever we plan to meet, this guy tells me, will come to my country to visit me, but then comes up a story. <laughs> so my request is, you help me put this guy on your Instagram stories <laughs> so that if there is any lady that is chatting with him <laughs> will come up and tell you I know this guy I'm chatting with this or I'm dating this guy I was like okay no problem but you have to pay the fee because I don't see it ending here <laughs> I'll need to give you some guidance and that takes time she was like Bella no problem so yes she made an arrangement actually was in a country that it is really difficult to transfer money so had to talk to her sister who is in another country you know to help her and the payments were done so after that i had to post to the guy you know <laughs> and i was like if you know this guy please dm me so when i posted his photo after two hours nobody came up i was like okay maybe he's a good guy <laughs> but the next hour came a lady I was like oh bella i was chatting with this guy online in 2021 but it's me that ended the relationship because i saw he wasn't serious i was like okay good <laughs> then came another lady this one shocked me and will shock you too <laughs> So this lady actually asked me a question. Bella, what's up with this guy? <laughs> I was like, do you know him? If you know him, just feel free to let me know. <laughs> Guys, that is when this lady was like, yes, I know him, but unfortunately he is late. Like late how? I was like, Bella, I chatted with this guy for two good years everything was fine the guy knew my relatives and that lady poor woman is a single mother of two so told me the guy knew her kids too could even make video calls and talk to her kids she was happy at peace 
knowing that I have found the one. Then one day, this guy writes to her and tells her that he has got a heart problem and he needs to go to the hospital. The lady is very, very religious, you know, kneels down and starts praying for the fiancé. Tells God, please God, heal my boyfriend. I need him. At the time, I found the one and then he gets sick. So she kept on praying for him. He gets admitted to the hospital. <laughs> ah, online dating, guys. So he gets admitted to the hospital and it reached a point the boyfriend couldn't text or call so had to give his phone to the nurse so it was the nurse who was communicating with this black african woman in africa to update her about the condition of the boyfriend and then one day this nurse writes a message to her that the boyfriend is in two coma oh my god Tells us prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed, was super, super stressed. Then after some time, gets a message from the nurse that the guy is no more. Hmm. She was like, Bella, I cried. I cried, even went into a depression, questioned God. God, why? At the time you have brought the right guy to me, you take him why god tells us it took her three good months to start you know taking you know step by step getting into normal activities normal life the lady was telling me bella i was destroyed so after she tells me the story i'm like girl i am really really sorry for what you went through and that's why i've been telling you don't attach yourselves emotionally to these guys that you meet on online dating apps until you start to see real actions not these actions that you're still talking no this guy has to meet you in person whether he should invite you or come to your country but you need to really see him in person see the chemistry between you see how he treats you even in real life then at that time you can start attaching yourself emotionally to him i felt really really sorry for her so i had to tell her the truth girl the guy is alive alive and healthy <laughs> it's not that he is no more like he told you the story guys she was in a shock because like bella god brought you to me today it is god god knows how many times i knelt down and prayed and cried to take away my boyfriend now to discover that this guy is alive oh my god bella thank you she thanked me and thanked me and thanked me i was like it's okay but i thank god that the truth has come out so i know right now you're like bella so on the other side <laughs> The lady that brought the guy, you know, the current girlfriend, <laughs> how is it going? What did she do? <laughs> I did my job, okay? I did my job. I advised her. I told her everything that has come out and told her what to do. So I'm still waiting from her because I haven't heard from her from that time but i see her around and i know she'll be watching this video if you're watching this video please i need feedback you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> so be careful guys be very very careful emotional attachments before you meet no and i told you how to deal with that <laughs> second when you start hearing Oh, I've got a heart problem. I'm admitted to the hospital. I can't talk to you now. I'll talk to you when I'm out of the hospital. <laughs> My son is sick. My daughter is sick. <laughs> you have to make sure you confirm all that because sickness is normal, you know, in our lives. But you need to confirm everything this guy tells you. Don't keep on believing and believing because you don't know how you believing this guy can hurt you just like how this lady got hurt after hearing the boyfriend is no more which wasn't okay. true so my advice to you all is please do not give up on love always pray to god guys <laughs> i turned into a prayer warrior when i met my man because another thing is 
finding love another thing is meeting someone another one is keeping your communication and conversation always pray always pray it doesn't matter if you if you're already serious in the relationship something might just happen and you guys might just you guys will just break up for no good reason you see this is why i said always put your relationship into god's hands please always pray okay and god is going to answer all of your prayers god is going to answer all of your prayers okay thank you all for watching okay and i wish you guys good luck in your search so if you did not hear the name of the dating app where they met they met on international cupid this lady wasn't using vpn or anything no because international cupid works in nigeria give it a try even if you're not nigerian i've had lots of success stories from international cupid only that i haven't brought them here yet so dear friends before i end this video i have a kind request ada is a content creator does lifestyle videos please check her channel out you are going to enjoy a lot her content she is such a lively person you're going to like her personality and she also shares couples videos oh my god they're such a cute couple <laughs> May God bless the two of you and I wish you all the best. Guys, let us wish them all the best. So check her YouTube channel, which goes by the name of Adalili Oliver. I'm going to be putting it here so that you can see it, so that it can be easy for you to search for it on YouTube. Thank you guys. So dear friends, we have reached to an end of our today's video. I really hope you enjoyed so much. You learned lots, lots of new things. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too. If you have not watched them, you're going to learn a lot. Comment below what you think about this video. I would like to know. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Join the family and thank you for subscribing. Until next time, guys, I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao. Mwah.